Hey everyone, how's it going? So in honor of Halloween, I want to show everyone how to make a Halloween surprise fold. So to do this, I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to fold it in half like this. I'm going to line up the corners and then just fold down my paper. Then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to take this flap and I'm going to just fold it down like this. So it's like I fold it in half and then fold it in half again. And that way I have an opening like this. Then I'm going to turn it around this way and I'm going to turn it into my fold. So I want to turn this into a jack-o-lantern. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to curve up and then down a little bit like that. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go up and then down with a nice curve. And then starting here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down like this. Then I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to draw the top. So starting right here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to curve up and then down a little bit. Then right here I'm going to draw a line that's just going to curve up and then down a little bit. Then I'm going to start right here and draw a line that's just going to curve up and then I want it to line up with this line right here. Now at the top here I'm just going to draw two little diagonal lines like this. And then I'm going to draw a little line that just goes straight across right here for the stem. Now I want to add a mouth onto here. So I want the mouth to be the part that's going to open up. So I want to have a little bit on top and then a little bit on bottom. So I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to draw a line that just goes down to here. And then I'm just going to draw a little line that goes over. I'm going to put a small little tooth right here. Then I'm going to make another line that goes over. Draw a small little tooth right here that goes up, kind of like a little square or rectangle shape. And then a line that curves up here. Then I'm going to take this line and just kind of draw it down here, all the way to the fold. Then I'm going to continue this line down to right about here. Then I'm just going to start right here and draw a little line that goes up, down, up, over, and down for another little tooth. Then make a little curved line here for the smile. Draw another line that goes up, over, and then down, and then just connect it to the mouth there. Now for the face. So I'm just going to draw a small triangle right above the mouth. And then for the eyes. So to draw the eyes, I'm just going to draw a line that comes down here. And then I'm going to curve it over here. And then just connect them right here. Then I'm going to do the same thing here. Start right here, just kind of curve a line in. Draw a curved line over to here. And then just connect them like this. Now I want to make this look a little bit more realistic, so I'm going to draw a little curved line right here, and then another curved line right here, and then I'm just going to put one little curved line inside the nose. So here is the outside of our pumpkin. Now when we open it up, we have all this room to add all of these different details and everything. 
So what I'm going to do first thing is I'm going to draw a little line that goes up here and a little line that goes up here just so I know not to draw anything below that fold. And I'm going to do the same thing here and the same thing right here. Then up here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw this line down a little bit and then this line down a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same thing with these. I'm going to draw this line down and this line down. Now in here we want to have some fun and we want to add a bunch of different Halloween things in here. So we just want to make sure that we can draw everything in here and we just don't cross these lines up here or down here. So there's lots of things we can draw. Let's start off with a little cartoon ghost. So starting right here I'm going to draw two ovals right here then I'm going to draw a little line like this for a mouth and then a little happy face line like this then I'm going to just draw a line that's just going to curve around here Then I'm going to draw two little lines out here on each side for arms. And then right here I'm just going to make a little bit of a curly line for the tail. And I'm going to do the same thing here and just make it get really skinny as it goes down. Now over here let's put a little cartoon bat. So, Starting right here, I'm just going to draw two circles for eyes. Then I'm going to make a little circle for a nose. I'm going to put a big smile for a mouth. And then two little triangles for some teeth. Then I'm going to draw two little lines above it for some eyebrows. And then I'm going to make kind of like a bumpy line around here so it kind of looks like he's furry. And then I'm going to connect this line at the top. Then I'm going to draw two little pupils. two triangles for some ears and two small triangles inside then the wings are very easy I'm just gonna draw a line that's just going to go up and then down then I'm going to go back up and then I'm gonna draw a skinny line here that goes down up and then connect it here then I want to do the same thing here. Go up, down, come back up. Then just draw a line that goes down, up, and then over. Then I'm just going to connect each of these. Just like this. Okay, now let's add some more. So let's add a spider in here. So to draw the little spider, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start here and I'm going to make a little eye here and then a little eye right here. Then I'm going to add two more little circles on top to make it look like it has some more eyes. And then I'm just gonna put some little dots inside each one. Then I'm gonna make a little mouth like this and then a little line like this with a little tongue so it looks like a happy spider. Then starting here at the eye I'm just going to draw kind of like a pointy zigzag line around here to make it look like it kinda of has like some hair like it's a hairy spider. 
And then I'm just going to draw a line that goes out, down, like this, out, and then down like that, out, and then down here. Same thing to this side, out and down, out and down, out and down. And then I'm going to add some little feet onto here. And I'm going to put a little line that goes down here and here so that we have eight legs on our spider. Now, let's add some other things in here. Let's add some candy. So, to draw some candy, it's very easy. I'm just going to make a little circle like this. And then I'm going to put two diagonal lines on each side. And connect it with some zigzag lines. And I'm going to add some of that candy all around here in some different spots. And then you can always put some lines on it too. All around here. I'm going to put some more over here. Now, let's add some more stuff in here. Let's add some candy corn. So, to draw candy corn, it's just like making a triangle that has rounded corners. So, I'm just going to start here and draw a line that just goes up and down. And then it's just going to curve around like this. And then have three little lines. Let's put another piece out here with two little curved lines, so it has three stripes total. Put another piece out here with three little, with two little lines, so it has three little stripes. Now, up here by my ghost, I'm just going to write the words "boo." little exclamation point and I'm just going to make a little V and then a little line that just kind of curves around to connect it in there now over here I want to add a little eyeball just to make it fun so I'm going to make a circle and then inside of here I'm going to add another little circle And I'm going to put one more little circle in here, and then I'm going to color in this one. And then I'm going to add another little circle around it like this. Now, the last thing I want to add is I'm going to add just a little tiny skull right in here, just a little cute one. So I'm going to make two ovals like this then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a big circle around here then I'm just gonna make some little bumps like this for the teeth and a little triangle nose like that now the last thing we need to do is we need to connect the mouth so what I'm going to do is starting here, I'm just going to draw a line that goes down here. And it's just going to kind of curve out and connect to here. Same thing here, I'm going to draw a line down. I'm going to jump over all of my little drawings and then connect it to here. Then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to connect this mouth right down to here. And then connect this one right down to here. Got to jump over all of these. You can just draw right through the spider legs. And then if you have any extra room, you can always add a couple little things, like maybe some more pieces of candy. And some other little stuff. Then when you close it up, you're going to have a nice little pumpkin. And then when you open it, you're going to have a big Halloween surprise. 
And there you go. There is your drawing of your Halloween surprise fold. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.